Hello everyone, my name is Huawei Fox Scout and in my previous video I did an unboxing and review of the Olaclip mobile photography box set for the iPhone 10. Therefore in this video I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the moment lenses for the iPhone 10 and hopefully it will allow you to see the comparisons between the two brands. So without further ado, let's check it out. So the lens that I have here are the superficial lens, the wide lens, and the macro lens. And all of these lenses are second generation models, but also in order for these lenses to work, you must purchase the moment photo case, which is what you will be attaching the lenses on. And each of these lenses and the phone case are sold separately. So the superficial lens and the macro lens will cost you $89.99, and the wide 80mm lens will cost you $99.99. Lastly, the phone case for this iPhone 10 is $29.99 and there's also other color options for this specific case which will all cost the same. So you can pick and choose which lenses and case you want, but if you were to buy all three of these lenses along with the iPhone 10 case, that already runs you about $310, which is really pricey. So therefore, we'll take a look to see if it's worth it. Opening the box for the lenses, the first thing you'll notice is the card at the top which basically shows an example photo for each lens taken by another user with the moment lens. Flipping that card over will display a get started guide for each lens. Taking a look at the accessories first, you can see that each lens comes with a pouch that even has its own label along with a lens cap to protect the lens from scratches. And then you can put the lenses in the pouch when you're done. So before I get to the lenses, let's take a look first at the moment photo case made for the iPhone 10. So this case is made of soft rubber and it feels really premium, thin and light. It's also two holes here to attach the wrist strap which is sold separately so that you don't drop your phone. Flip this around and there's another picture card. And taking the card out, there's a get started guide on how to insert your phone in the case and how to attach the lenses and how to insert the wrist strap. And I really, really, really love the soft micro sweep protective lining and this protects the back of your phone. Now I'll go ahead and put the phone inside the case. There you go. And now let's get to the lenses. The first lens we'll take a look at is the wide lens. This lens expands the field of view so that you can capture more area. It weighs 76.2 grams, which is approximately 0.16 pounds. So the lenses are made of aerospace grade metal and the quality of the glass is the same as the high-end 4K film lenses. And I really like the curvy design of this lens. To attach the lens to the case, first look for the dashed line on the lens and then the dashed line on the case. Next, align them together and then press the lens in and rotate 90 degree clockwise and there you go. And as a side note, the dashed line might be located differently for each case. So this one's for the iPhone 10, so the dashed line will be located here. Testing out the wide lens, the left view is recorded with a normal iPhone 10 camera lens, and the right view is with the moment wide lens. You can see how the wide lens view to view is larger than the normal lens because it actually zooms out the perspective at 0.63 times magnification. The next lens we'll take a look at is the macro lens. This lens is basically like a magnifying glass and it gives a 10 times zoom which is great for focusing on micro details. You can see that it comes with a diffuser hood which really provides perfect focus and lighting to your photos. You can detach the diffuser if you want. So without the diffuser hood attached to the lens, it weighs 34.7 grams which is approximately 0.07 pounds and with the diffuser hood attached, it weighs 39.7 grams which is approximately 0.08 pounds. Testing out the macro lens, when viewing far away from an object, it is blurry, but once you bring the lens closer to an object, you start noticing all of its micro details. Wow, look at that, this is really awesome. The diffuser hood really gives it a good lighting, so if I take out the diffuser hood, look at the difference between the two. The final lens we'll take a look at is the superficial lens. So this lens provides a 170 degree image, it weighs 52 grams, which is approximately 0.11 pounds. Testing out the superficial lens, you'll notice how the view is more curved so that you can capture a little more area, but at the same time, really give this cool effect. I really like this fisheye lens better than the old Eclipse fisheye lens that I reviewed in my previous video. Looking at the difference between the old Eclipse fisheye lens at the left 
and the moment fish I lens on the right. It's a drastically huge difference. And in my opinion, I don't like the black round edge on the old Eclipse fish eye lens. The Moment lens also has an app available for the iOS and Android devices. The app allows you to take full advantage of your lenses with some additional tweaks. Looking to the settings, you can adjust the configurations for the photos and videos. They also charge $499 for the Pro version to get access to all of its features, such as controlling the shutter speed, the ISO, manual focus, and much more. If you want the pro version of this app for free, then you must purchase their battery case which costs $99.99 for the iPhone 10 and $89.99 for the iPhone 7 and 8. And I know it's really pricey, but if you be fully utilizing this for professional photography, then it seems to be worth it. So now that you got to see how the moment lens work, the first pro is that the lens built quality fuse premium and lightweight. The second pro is that I like how the lenses capture high quality images with minimal distortion like those expensive DSLR cameras. The third pro is that the photo case looks nice and feels comfortable in the hands. Now the first kind is that it is pricey just for some lenses. The second kind is that you must purchase a moment photo case in order to use the lenses. And the third kind is that you can't use the lenses with a front facing camera. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching and if this video helps you a lot, you know what to do, please smash that like button. And I also released an unboxing and review video of the Oloclip Mobile Photography Box Set for the iPhone 10, and I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to see that one. Another thing, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe now because I'll be releasing tons of more awesome tech unboxing and review videos soon. And also if you already subscribed, don't forget to click on that bell notification button to be the first to be notified when I release a new video. And thanks again. See you next time.